Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is adjective phrase 159. The adjective phrase today is black and white, and we got four meanings and four uses. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. If a person says something is black and white, it is sharply defined, clear cut, and without confusion. So it means that something is very clear, easy to understand, easy to see. All right, number two, divided into good or evil or right or wrong. So sometimes black and white can represent good or evil or right or wrong. Number three, well, of TV and old photos, like old TV programs and old photos, uh, displayed in light gray or black shades of color. So remember the original TV, they didn't have color. They, the TV was in black and white. And old photos used to be in black and white too. All right, number four, written down or in print. So sometimes we say something is in, you want to see it in black and white, you want to see it written down. So remember, uh, the paper was usually white and the ink was usually black. So that's where it came from. That's the idea. Let's continue. All right, the use about uh, photos or films dates back to the late 1800s, which makes sense because that technology did not come about until around that time. Uh, the use about right or wrong dates back 2,000 years, so, uh, you know, all the way back to biblical times. Um, the use about written down or in print dates back to the 1500s. Okay, let's go on. All right, and we got six examples here to show just how it's used. Here's the first one. Not everything about this situation is black and white. So not everything about this situation is clearly defined or is easy to see or understand. There are some gray areas. That's the kind of the opposite one we, we use. Because remember, if you mix black and white together, it becomes gray. And gray means that there's like some confusion or there's some things that's not very clear. All right, number two, the law is black and white. It is very clear and there does not seem to be any loopholes to get around it. So at least this particular law seems to be black and white. It's very clear and it's hard to you know, try to find a way around the law. That's what a loophole would be. All right, number three, he only judges people in black and white. You are either good and moral or you are not. Okay. Number four, that movie is in black and white. Yeah, so remember, you really only need to go back to around the 1950s when to find that movies were very commonly in black and white. I think the first color movie wasn't until... I think it was Gone with the Wind. Was that 1939? I'm not sure. But that's around the time when you had the first color movie. And at the beginning, it was too expensive. The, most movies were still made in black and white until nearly the 1960s, actually. All right, let's continue. Uh, all right, number five here. She has some old black and white photos from her childhood. Yeah, so if, you, if you're old enough, you, know, you remember, like everybody just had black and white at one time. And number six. He doesn't just want an oral agreement, so an agreement from speech. He wants it put down in black and white. So he probably wants some sort of a contract or some sort of a document, you know, to, to protect. Because sometimes if it's just an oral argument, if it's just an oral agreement, maybe somebody could say it could be like a he said, she said thing, and it might be unclear. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.